very beginning, our priority has been to ensure that Canadians can continue to have confidence in our uh, asylum system, in our refugee system. Every single uh, person who comes to Canada, uh, whether it's regularly or irregularly, uh, goes through our immigration system, gets the full uh, treatment within our asylum system. We need to make sure that we're continuing to apply that. We need to recognize that there are larger numbers uh, now than before because of global instability in terms of uh, refugees. Uh, that's why we're putting more resources in it. We're also ensuring uh, that the system is fair for everyone. Do you have anything to add before I relay the decision of the Crown? I, I, I swear to be faithful to Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, to her heirs and successors, and that I will be faithful to observe the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties as Canadian citizen. Yes, thank you. I am certain the Ghanaian Oath of Allegiance is equally effective. Let it be on record that Ms. Kweku was given an opportunity to provide us with additional information and she chose to recite the Canadian Oath of Citizenship. Ms. Kweku, you have formally stated your intention to seek asylum and be granted refugee status to remain in Canada. This is on the grounds that your life is threatened if you return to Mankesem, Ghana, a town in your country of origin, correct? Yes, sir. Do you confirm that this folder contains your signed application form and any additional documents that support your asylum claim? Yes, sir. Ms. Kweku. The Canadian people will not hesitate to provide protection to any individual who needs it. This is a privilege that is provided to those who have proven beyond doubt that there is a threat to life. Now, this is a report from the High Commission of Canada to Ghana. According to this report, the Menkesem area is known for fetish practices and unconventional methods of adjudication. However, the High Commission has assured us that Ghana as a country is very safe and a persecuted citizen may reside in other parts of the country without fear to life and property. It is on these grounds, Ms. Kweku, that I will... Unfortunately, we need to comply. We will reconvene immediately, if it is safe to do so. I would like to wrap up these procedures today. The court clerk will note that this interview is temporarily suspended at 13.55 Eastern Standard Time.
It's not over, Anna. Please allow me to handle things from here on, okay? May I? What I'm about to say is off the record. Now, it is not the custom of this court to provide second chances. However, in this case, I'm going to ask you one final time, Ms. Quaker. Do you have any additional information before I relay the decision of the Crown? Let it be on record that this interview resumed at 15.50 Eastern Standard Time. Ms. Kweku, on behalf of the Crown, I will not be approving your request for asylum, nor will I be granting you refugee status to remain in Canada as a protected person at this time. Now, this is on the basis that you have failed to provide evidence to this court that every town or city in Ghana is unsafe for you to reside in. Ms. Kweku will be kept in holding until the day she is to return to her own country. Her right to appeal will be limited and discretionary, given that she appeared in court today with a paper that pointed to a premeditated intention to mislead this system. This interview is adjourned at 15.54 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, uh, I will die this time. Excuse me? I have no strength for oh, one more. Kweku, please. Please. Now, now, now. Pull down your sweater and come. Now, have a seat. Tell me what is going on. My father. My father is the late chief of my casino. He left me possessions. <laughs> I'm, I'm his only daughter. <laughs> Miss Quick. Listen, you should have indicated all of this. On, on your application for asylum. There, there's nothing I can do now. The decision has already been made. I needed evidence on paper. There is nothing I can do now to change this decision. Anna. I am sorry. I was an immigrant as well. There is still an option to appeal my decision. Anna, I would take advantage of that if I were you. Ha <laughs> ha